One of the most useful and powerful aspects of the Masterpiece Gallery Manager is its ability to track your contacts and their areas of interest. To get there, go to Print, Contact, Mailing List, Labels, Merge. Printing a mailing list is a three-step process. Step 1. Give the system a starting point. All names or no names. Step 2. Add or remove names to and from the list until you have identified those names that you want to output. And step three, generate the output from your search. Uh, let's talk about step one. Uh, currently, this gray box shows how many names are selected. Valid means how many have valid mailing addresses, and email means how many have valid email addresses. I don't have very much data, so I'm just going to click on all names. As you can see, I have valid 11 email addresses. You can also select which contacts you want to work with. Uh, if you want just customers, just click on the customers only checkbox. Uh, vendors only, just check on the vendors only checkbox, and so forth. If you want to work with all your contacts, just make sure that none of them are checked. Now comes the fun part. By specifying certain criteria, you're able to narrow your search down to very exact details. So let's say you want to check out um, or produce a list of your contacts that are associated with an item price. So you can put in a price here. Um, and then here you can put it greater than or equal to, less than, less than or equal to, equal to, greater than, or not equal to. If you want to produce a list of contacts that have a certain word in the subject field, you can type it in here. Or for contacts or vendors or subjects or something like that. If you have your mouse over it, a pop-up comes up telling you which fields it searches in. You can also check for customers who purchase from your gallery within a certain date. Uh, just double click on the from field and the calendar will pop up or the to field um, or you can put in how much the customer purchased from your gallery. Um, same thing with contacts. When were they entered? You can search that criteria. You can search for people in a certain zip code in a city, area code, source, notes. Um, if you want to search for everybody who's not in an area code, just put an area code here, make sure not is checked, and then click add names. So, let's say you wanted to search for everybody who was in, let me click on no names here, everybody who was in area code 609, I would go ahead and put that then and there, hit add names, and as you can see I have one person. Uh, and if I wanted to say search for everybody who's in area code 609, but take away everybody who's in a certain city in that area code, I would put in this city in here and say remove. So now comes step three of producing an output. So just basically check which one that you want to see. Uh, so let's say I want to do a list. Let me click on all names here, click on list, and do a preview. And that give me it give me a list. If I want to do labels, just click on labels and click preview, and it give me labels. And these can print on Avery labels. Uh, the contact labels are a standard milling label size of one inch by two and five eighths inch. Uh, they are typically on sheets of ten rows and three columns. Uh, you can do an envelope, and you can do a merge file by clicking the merge file and then clicking start and then telling the program what you want to what kind of file you want to create you can create an excel document uh, database file comma array separated value any of these uh, files here uh, excel is a handy one so then you have all the functionality of excel to do whatever you want with the list uh, and lastly you can do an email merge uh, it's kind of similar. You click on email merge, do a start, and it says, okay, I'm going to save my list here. Where do you want me to put it? Um, I'm going to put it on my desktop, call it email file, save it as a database file, and then I can take that database file and export it out to Outlook, or import it into Outlook, um, and then use Outlook to send everybody my email, or I could use Masterpiece to send the email. And that is an overview of how to create a mailing list or labels or email merge.